Hey team, Coach Jeff back with yet another mobility session and we're going along today. This is a full body, full mobility stretch. It's going to last 20 minutes. The only equipment you need if you have that optional yoga mat is great, a little bit of space. Uh, you need access to a wall. We're going to do in a fair bit of wall stretching, some standing stretching, lower and upper, and then some floor stretches too. So 20 minutes, let's go. All right, nice big inhale and exhale. Three times we'll do this. In, out, in, and out. Three reps done. Let's do two. Elbows down, open, tension through the back, all the way down, open. And again, elbows down, open, tension. And then one more. It's gonna be a swan dive all the way to the floor, one vertebrae at a time. Aim to touch the toes, we'll get as far as you can. And hold. Five, three, two, one. Chin to your chest and roll up slowly. And loosen up, perfect. All right, let's start with one leg at a time here. We're gonna see a series of stretches. Starting with the left knee, just draw that knee nice and high, establish balance and hold. Keep the foot flexed and breathe. And if you need to hold on to something, that's fine also. Two, one, perfect. Open up the same knee to the side. Send it as far to the side as possible. Really open up the hips. And then take that foot inside and turn that into a tree pose. Reach up high and hold. Breathe, four, three, two, and one. Release, take the same foot across the opposite knee and just sit back slightly, pushing that knee to the back of the room now. Feel that in the glute and hold. And once you've established the balance, let's go to the next level, a little bit deeper, sit back, arms up in front of the head and spike the fingers forward and hold. Not quite done on this leg yet. Three more stretches. Four, three, two, one. Release. Grab the laces for a regular quad stretch. Knees together, hips square forward, core nice and tight. And hold. Two, one, and release. Take the same leg forward, an exaggerated lunge position. We're just gonna lean on that front knee. The back leg is gonna stay nice and straight. And we're gonna drop our hips forward to the back of the front heel. Hold. And then we've got one more stretch, which is a progression of this, the runner stretch. Bring the hands down just outside the heel. Fingertips just touching the floor. Just gonna feel a little bit of tension here, and that's good. We're gonna break that in five, three, two, one. Hands down, drop into a cobra. Chest up proud, be careful of the lower back. Breathe. Hold. Seven, five, three, two, one. And from here, sit back on the heels, come into a prayer or a child's pose, crawl the fingertips forward, 
and push the back into the floor. All right, so about five minutes through. Three, two, one. Come into a plank position. Walk your hands back to your feet. And then reverse one dive back to the top. And exhale. And then let's take the right leg and draw it up nice and high, just as we did with the left. Flex the foot, same series of stretches here. And after this, we'll stay on the floor for a couple more nice seated floor stretches. Three, two, and one. Take that knee open. Open up the hips on that right side. Maintain balance, hold on to something if you need to. And then take that into the tree pose. If you lose your balance, that's fine. Just tap out composure and then come back in. Seven seconds. Five, three, two, one, and release. Take that same foot across the opposite knee, just as we did before. Sit back slightly for the glute stretch. And then once you've established that balance again, if you've established the balance, take the arms out in front and sit lower. Hold. Five, three, two, one. Release, grab the laces. Knees together, hips square again, quad stretch. And breathe. Five, three, two, one, and release. Step forward, exaggerated lunge position. I'm just gonna change the angle of doing this. Just so I can show you, back leg has to be straight, front leg bent, lean in. I'm gonna get those hips forward diagonal. And then once you've established that, we can drop to the runner stretch. Hold. Five. Three two, one, hands down again. Instead of a cobra, let's go to a downward dog, bum up in the air, heels to the ground. Put the weight through the thumb, index finger, and drive the chest back towards the feet. Five, three, two, and one. Drop back to a child's pose as we did before. Only this time, we're just gonna focus a couple more stretches, starting with the back of the shoulder and the upper back. We're gonna take the right arm through under the left arm and just lean in and push the shoulder into the floor. Get ready to switch. Four, three, two, release, and switch to the other side. Four, three, two, and one, come back to the center, and then take the right arm away from the body, pushing that shoulder into the floor. You'll feel that through the chest, and you can just relax down on the floor. Five, 
five, three, two, one, and switch to the left, push it away, shoulder into the ground for the chest stretch. Breathe, relax, four, three, two, one, and release. All right, come on to all fours here. And what we're gonna do now is just a quick, we're gonna do a quad stretch again, but we're also gonna do a forearm stretch. So we're gonna put our fingers backwards towards our body and we're just gonna lean back very, very slightly and you should feel that the forearm through the wrist. And of course, the further back you lean, the more you'll feel it. Don't overdo it, very much overlooked, but a very good stretch. Hold. Four, three, two, safely release. And then sit back on the heels and then continue to walk your way to the back of the room and you'll feel that in the quads. Now at this point, if you feel good, feel free to go all the way back to your elbows. Be careful of the lower back. If you're mobile enough, you can do it. I'm not gonna do it right now. Five, three, two, one, and release. All right, now what we're gonna do is come into a half squat. Okay, so this leg's gonna be up. We're just gonna push this right knee away from the body and just open up the hips. And we have three stretches from this position. Continue to push the knee away, feel in your adductors and hold four, three, two, and then take that same leg away to the side to a deep side lunge position. You can even come on down onto your elbows if you feel good and chill. Five, three, two, one. Then take this leg finally in front and just lean forward slightly, feeling the hamstring driving the heel into the ground might be a little uncomfortable at first, but never put any pressure down on this leg. It's very dangerous. Shouldn't have to move too far to feel that stretch. Five, three, two, one, and return. Let's go to a tall kneeling position, and then we'll start the same thing on the left. All right, start with a half squat, push that knee open and away as we did on the right. A little over 13 minutes through, 20 minute total stretch. I'm gonna go even deeper to the floor in just a second. Let's take that leg out to the side and come on down onto the elbows if it feels good. Four, three, two, one, and then finally, heel into the ground and lean into it for the hamstring stretch. And we'll have another hamstring stretch in a seated position shortly. But for now, breathe, focus on form. See if you can crawl your way a little further forward. In four, three, two, and one, and then from here we can just sit down slightly, pull this leg forward, and just sit in a neutral position before we do a butterfly stretch, first of all. Feet together, heels back towards the hips, hands under or across the laces, chest up proud, pushing the knees downwards towards the floor, and another really good hip stretch there. Hold, 20 seconds more.
four, three, two, and one. Let's go right leg, take it out in front, keep the left foot inside the right. We'll take an inhale, and on the exhale, touch the toes or see wherever you land, mid shin, toe, heel. Just hold and try to crawl your way further forward throughout the stretch. 10 seconds to go. Five, three, two, and one. Maintain the same position here. Let's take this left foot over the right knee above and then pull this knee back towards our chest for another glute stretch here. Three, two, one, and release. Let's bring the right foot inside. Inhale, hamstring on the exhale. See where you land. Breathe. A little over three and a half minutes to go. and release. Maintain the same position, right foot comes over and pull that knee back towards the chest. So almost done here as we start to make our way back up to standing for a couple wall stretches to finish. Hold, nine, five, three, two, and one. And then come back to the butterfly stretch position that we started with here but instead of holding here, we'll take our hands through, grab the laces, and then pull our chest forward, knees down to the ground, feel that in the hips and the lower back. And this will be our last stretch on the floor. Five, three, two, one and break this stretch coming into a bottom squat position push the knees open and away chest up nice and proud as we begin to make our way back up to standing straighten out the legs touch the toes and then reverse one dive once again all the way back at the top head comes up last no head rush and exhale. Okay, just a couple of wall stretches here. This is really, really good one for the calf, so you just need a little bit of space. We're just gonna stand our right leg forward, close to the wall, knee is close, back leg is down. We're just gonna lean into the wall like so, trying to get that heel to the ground. You should feel that through the calf. And hold. and switch to the other side. Once again, heel down, lean into the wall. You might need to move around a little bit. You shouldn't feel that in the hamstring at all. It should all be calf. You might need to move around a little bit. Good. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Step away from the wall, both hands on, chest down, and now you'll feel it in the hamstrings. Bum to the back of the room, legs as straight as possible. Drive your weight through the hands, chest down, shoulders down, and hold 10 seconds. Two, one, and release. All right, couple inhale, exhales to finish as we started in. Minus the swan dive, elbows down and open. And again, elbows down, open. And then one more in. 
no tension, breathe out, and time.